Hi, my name is Riley. I'm from uh, Colorado in the in the states, and I came here to Nimiakaya, um, seeking sort of a deeper deeper healing for my life. Uh, I since since 2018 have have been doing medicine work to help heal um, some some deep traumas from my childhood, and uh, this had started with some peyote work back in 2018, which I found to be a very profound experience that had sort of started me along this path um, and and more recently have done some some more guided psychedelic work back in Colorado to to help heal and I found that those experiences previously really helped dig up a lot of sort of the troubles of my past <clears throat> and and helped me to um, really find things to focus on to sort of heal heal my anxiety um, issues with relationships uh, issues with addiction, all sorts of sort of downstream, some downstream difficulties in my life. And working with ayahuasca had, had sort of been on my list for a long time. Um, but for one reason or another, I kind of kept pushing it off. And I finally, this summer, feeling burnt out from work um, with, with COVID and everything going on, felt really this deep calling to, to come give ayahuasca um, an honest try in this, in this medicine work. So I had begun doing research and I was really intent on not going to a place that sort of suffered too much from the ill effects of ayahuasca tourism. So I spent a while looking and, and found Amiakaya to be sort of this perfect fit. Um, it's sort of in, in the actual Amazon. We you know, had the opportunity to come to, to where this medicine is from. Um, and, and they do a really wonderful job at, at supporting these, these local Shipibo communities. It felt like there was this sort of sustainable system set up that actually really benefited the community. And what I found here is, is I think, such an incredible um, community that's been built. It's, you know, brought together a lot of um, really wonderful people that are also seeking healing. We've, we've developed a really deep friendship, our, our whole group. Um, people were immediately vulnerable from the very first day. There was never really any small talk. It's felt like a big family. Uh, the, the facilitators here uh, have really set up a, a wonderful example of, of creating a safe, loving place for, for psychedelic therapy, for working with plant medicine. Um, from, from all the experiences I've had, this has really been above and beyond anything I've ever seen in terms of, of facilitating and creating a safe space to sort of heal. Um, and, and the experience to have actual Shipibo elder shamans come in and, and guide these ceremonies is, is, is really incredible to experience that tradition passed down, to experience the beautiful culture. Um, and for me, I really felt like I had some deep healing here. Um, you'll, you'll hear a lot of people say that this medicine works in mysterious ways or it doesn't work the same for everybody. And while some had these deep visions and um, all sorts of different experiences. I, I had this extremely physical release of trauma that I've been seeking uh, for decades. I, I had a lot of sort of trauma release throughout different parts of my body that felt um, like they were releasing these deep pains that I've never been able to access. And it was, it's still surreal, it's still something I'm processing, but I feel like I'm leaving here um, and, and leaving behind a, a lot from my childhood. Um, and I sort of already feel a lot of clarity moving forward. Uh, so I'm super grateful to have been here. Um, I highly recommend this place. I highly recommend coming with an open heart. And I think it's, it's uh, really, really a wonderful opportunity.